Aptera says it's close to a solar-powered EV. But I have questions. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to EVpedia, your ultimate destination for all things electric vehicles. If you love exploring the latest in clean and innovative transportation, you're in the right place. Before we dive into today's electrifying topic, do us a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and share your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, if you're feeling generous, tap the super thanks button to show your support. Trust me, you're going to want to stick around for this one. It's packed with surprises and insights you can't afford to miss. Let's rev up and get started. Aptera's ambitious solar power journey. A blast from the past. Let's rewind the clock to the mid-2000s, a time when electric vehicles were little more than ambitious concepts or experimental projects. The General Motors EV1 and the Toyota RAV4 EV had already been shelved, and Tesla's groundbreaking Roadster was still just a dream in development. Yet, even in those early days, the conversation around climate change and energy independence was gaining momentum. Amid soaring gas prices and geopolitical tensions, a few daring innovators sought to revolutionize transportation by embracing decarbonization in truly novel ways. Enter Aptera, a company determined to rethink the traditional car by adopting design principles inspired by aircraft. The goal? To create a lightweight, ultra-aerodynamic vehicle capable of astonishing fuel efficiency. The original concept promised an unbelievable 330 miles per gallon at 65 miles per hour using a diesel engine. But like many ambitious dreams, Aptra's first act ended in disappointment, with the company shuttering operations by 2011. A comeback story worth watching. Fast forward to 2019, and the original founders, Chris Anthony and Steve Fambro, were back at the helm, determined to bring their vision to life. Aptera Motors was reborn carrying forward the same futuristic teardrop design but with a modern twist, fully electric power, complemented by solar panels covering its sleek, lightweight body. These solar panels, the company claims, can provide up to 40 miles of driving range per day, potentially eliminating the need for charging for many drivers. Bold, isn't it? Don't forget to like this video if you think solar EVs could change the game. By 2025, Aptera returned to the spotlight at CES with its latest iteration, the Delta Prototype. Still retaining its three-wheeled, aircraft-like design, the vehicle remains a head-turner, captivating audiences with its promise of innovation. But how close is Aptera to actually delivering on its lofty claims? The CES 2025 experience. Up close with Aptera. At the Las Vegas Convention Center, Aptera's futuristic stand stood in stark contrast to its startup neighbor, Scout Motors. While Scout displayed retro-inspired trucks and SUVs, Aptera wowed onlookers with its almost sci-fi aesthetic. It's easy to see why someone might mistake the Aptera for a flying car. It looks like it belongs in a sci-fi movie. But let's clear this up. Aptera doesn't fly. The Delta prototype showcased at CES offered a glimpse of what buyers might expect by late 2025. Featuring solar panels across its teardrop-shaped body, outboard wheels for enhanced aerodynamics, and a minimalist two-seat interior, the vehicle looked nearly ready for production, at least on the surface. However, a closer inspection revealed that this static model was still a work in progress. Many components, including the solar panels and door latch buttons, weren't fully functional. Early stage quirks like these are common, but they highlight the challenges Aptera faces as it pushes toward production. Solar power, a game changer or just a gimmick? Now, let's talk about that bold claim of being the world's first solar power production car. Aptera asserts that its vehicle can generate up to 4 kilowatt hours per day from its solar panels under optimal sunny conditions, translating to about 40 miles of range. This would make it an ideal choice for the average driver, who reportedly covers around 29 miles daily. Sounds amazing, right? Well, hold on a second. Let's dig deeper into the numbers. To achieve this level of solar generation, the Aptera would need to average about 333 watts per hour over a 12-hour sunny day. While impressive in theory, the vehicle I observed during a ride-along peaked at just 164 watts, with typical output hovering between 45 to 100 watts. This raises questions about whether Aptera's ambitious targets are achievable in real-world conditions. And what about less sunny locations? The math seems optimistic at best. Behind the wheel of a dream prototype, my ride-along in the Aptera prototype was brief. Just a quick spin around the convention center. The vehicle, missing key components like an interior and front-wheel covers, offered a glimpse of its potential, but also highlighted areas that need work. Despite its light weight and aerodynamic design, the ride quality felt brittle, a far cry from what one might expect for a vehicle targeting a $40,000 price point. 
Still, I couldn't help but admire the engineering ambition behind it. Reality check. Is Aptera ready for prime time? Aptera's story is inspiring, but it's also a reminder of the challenges that startups face. The company is still raising funds and reported $18 million in cash reserves as of late 2024. However, it needs an estimated $60 million to produce its first batch of vehicles. That's a steep climb, especially with unresolved technical hurdles and production timelines looming. It's worth noting that Aptera skirts some traditional car regulations by classifying its vehicle as an auto cycle, a move that simplifies its path to market but also limits its appeal to mainstream consumers. While the solar panels undoubtedly add value, they're not the perpetual motion miracle some might hope for. The final verdict. At the end of the day, Aptera represents a bold vision for the future of transportation. Whether it can deliver on its promises remains to be seen. But one thing's for sure, it has sparked a conversation about what's possible. What do you think? Can Aptera redefine the EV landscape? Or is it chasing an impossible dream? Share your thoughts below. Before you go, make sure you've hit that subscribe button, given this video a thumbs up, and shared it with your friends. And don't forget to stick around for more exciting updates. We've got plenty more in store for you right here on EVpedia. See you next time.